Panicked parents picking up their precious possessions in elementary schools and daycare centers across northern Ohio yesterday. And my friends were panicking and then I told them it's probably just a drill and then my teacher told me it's not. Disturbing bomb threats all coming in within a very short period of time. Hickory Ridge Elementary in Brunswick, John Sherman Elementary in Mansfield, two daycare centers, one in Garfield Heights, the other in Twinsburg, and six in Cincinnati. But that's not all. It happened across the country yesterday. We discovered bomb threats in at least two other states, Arizona and Florida. Sources tell me the preliminary investigation reveals all the threats came in as robocalls. Ken Trump is a national safety school expert who tells me this is called swatting. Swatting is electronically generated. It can be sent from afar. It can spoof phone numbers even to 911 centers and draw a massive police response thinking that there's an actual threat there when in reality it's something that was sent from miles away and never originated at that source. In the Phoenix area, three schools evacuated. In West Palm Beach, one high school targeted. Now the FBI is involved in tracking down the culprit. Trump told me these investigations can be very challenging, but... Eventually the perpetrators are caught, whether they're in the back door and it's a student who made a very poor decision in the back hallway of the school by sending something on an app, or whether it's someone who's sitting in the UK or Canada that swatted a school in Ohio or Florida, they're going to get caught. 